we here with KP. Let's talk about this Mike Tyson fight. Right. Let's talk about, did you see what happened when his, his booty was shown? What's your prediction? Vicious win. Vicious win. Thank you, Doug. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> Man, I seen everything. Let's, re let's I, recap everything. Ooh, okay. What's going I, on? I seen everything, and I want to go back to my takes because y'all remember back last year when they were talking about promoting this fight. I've been saying this from the beginning, and OTMZ, swear to God, no, this series. OTMZ, swear to God, no, bro, Tyson finna get in there and beat the out of all that type of Jake Paul, right? Yeah. So then what happened? And I was saying from the beginning, this ain't nothing but a cash grab. Go look at my takes. I said, man, this ain't nothing. This don't even he 50 years old. I want y'all to think about that. He 50 something years old. Fighting a train. This dude is like an assassin, Jake Paul. And I'm not saying it like he just that crazy dude, but this dude works out like a like a maniac. This dude is currently in his prime. This dude is currently trying to like still learning new techniques, still sparring with different people his age, bro. It's not Mike Tyson has not been living that life, and that's what I've been saying from the beginning. This is all a cash grab, but I didn't think Tyson was gonna sell his soul though. He went up there, and I'm telling y'all, listen, it's nothing by accident, nothing by coincidence. That man went up there and showed his bare ass. On national television in front of the whole world just disgraced the whole black we he sold his soul he just disgraced the whole black community as a whole Wait, that is one of our idols Mike Tyson I got a Mike Tyson shirt for the burn that bitch because he's supposed to stand for something and I ain't and I'm not saying this is obligation because everybody got a choice we all got a choice to stand for something or fall for anything and at the end of the day the white man won again the white man, he, they, he just, the white man just went in that ring, y'all. I want y'all to look at this and whoop the shit out of one of our idols. We think, we think, everybody, Tyson isn't. Every rapper has lyrics somewhere talking about beat something up like Tyson. Tyson is the man. That's why OTMZ was so focused on, or so just confident that he was gonna get in there and do something to Jake Paul because of what we thought of him, bro. And that's what I'm trying to tell this dude, like, no, bro, this is nothing but a cash grab. Jake Paul won. He what? Jake Paul got $40 million for the fight. Mike Tyson got $60 million. You think that's all they generated off that fight? They probably, you know how much Jake Paul probably got in endorsements. Uh, you probably know how much he got in endorsements coming off the back end. That's going to new endorsements that's about to come. You know how many... It's more people. It's, that, that, that fight probably generated probably a close to a quarter billion dollars. Maybe a half a billion dollars. And the entertainment, it was all based around Mike Tyson. Because if Mike Tyson went in that ring, it wouldn't have been no match. Jake Paul fighting who? And we just don't, we still, at the end of the day, $20 million is a lot of money. But I want y'all to understand, bro, that man just sold his soul. He got the crumbs. I don't care what y'all think. What y'all think? He got the crumbs. Twenty million dollars. Y'all gonna say is them crumbs? There's some crumbs compared to what's being made off of his name. He probably just generated them near half a billion dollars, cause Jake, Jake Paul wouldn't have did that by himself. And he still got the crumbs. He got twenty million dollars, and he got his ass whooped by the white man in front of the whole world. Literally showed his bare ass. And I just want y'all to think about that. Like at the end day, his kids got to see that. Us. Black community, we got to see that. We thought so highly of you, and that white boy just whooped your ass. <laughs> and then, y'all thinking he really don't like Jake Paul. It's not about him not like. They played us. They played the whole black community. Black versus white. Man, every, every, nigga, every nigga said, man, Tyson finna whoop his ass. My money on Tyson. Even if he don't win. You know how many people put their money on Tyson, even if he don't win, they just want to bet. Because he, like, they just ran it up off his well, he got that little 20 million and got his ass whooped. So I don't know. Tyson, he, he ain't no. Even I don't trust no nigga anyways that all big and swole talk with a little high pitch voice. Nah, hell no. Nah. That shit ain't adding up to me, bro. It's something wrong with Tyson now. I got to start looking at this nigga history for real. Yeah, Tyson sold his soul, though. Yo, we hear what it is. Y'all know what it is. It's KP, man. Y'all see what I got right here? It's Mike Tyson. You're done. You're done. You traded your, you, you, you showed your true colors. You traded sides. You traded the black community in. You had the whole world betting on you. Every motherfucker you know that was black went bet on Mike Tyson. Just for you to sit up there and gump us up and get that white boy all that money. Y'all want to think about this, man. 
We done with Mike Tyson. Fuck Mike Tyson. We done. Get it. That's a wrap. It's over with. Hey man, it's your boy Big Game. You tapping in to Pop Austin Media. You like that content? Man, hit that like, subscribe button, and get in tune. For sure, for sure.